Yo, 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 welcome. So, dancehall entertainer Skeng was reportedly prevented from boarding a flight recently and slapped with several charges following an argument with airport officials. <laughs> so, they actually charged him. Skeng was charged for disorderly behavior and resisting arrest. Reports are that shortly after 2 p.m. this afternoon, Skeng went to the Norman Manley International Airport where he attempted to board a flight. Police say an argument developed between Skeng and a member of the airport security and things escalated swiftly, which led to Skeng being uh, prevented from boarding the flight and also got some charges leveled against him. And um, Skeng, this is simple common sense. And I want to tell you this, and I hope other young entertainers like yourself listen and listen keenly. Airport is one of those places that are off limits. You get me? You can be the boss in your own corners. You can be the boss at your stage shows. You can be the boss at the studio. You can be the boss at other uh, places which much um, professionalism is not required. But you see, whenever you step into an airport, sir... <laughs> or any form of port of entry to leave the country or enter another country or to transit from one point to another, please be, be on your best behavior. Since September 11, when they had the, the Twin Tower collapsing, you know, via the airplanes, and then, you know what I mean, they brought in the TSA regulations and so forth. Airports are one of those places that you don't want to go to with uh, any form of misbehavior because they take everything to the highest level. They take every threat to the highest level. They interpret every single misbehavior as an offense. And so that is one of the places that you want to go there and you want to be as humble as possible because you're going to be charged. No if, nor buts, nor maybe. You'll be tossed off planes. You know what I mean? You'll be, you're prevented from boarding planes, etc. Worse, if you are in an argument or an altercation with persons who work at the airport, they will interpret it that, hey, this people is trying to protect the airplane. They're trying to protect passengers. They're trying to protect the world from attack. That's how they view it. That's how they view it. And this other person is the protagonist that is trying to cause trouble. So now that you have, you know, gotten in a situation with them, those powers that be, they are just looking at the, the fine print that is written in the media. Oh, this artist caused problem at the airport. That is all they are going to see. And now you may have placed yourself on a red flag. Bro, you are, you are an artist. You are very popular right now. You don't want to get yourself in any situations in which you can't travel. You don't want to be getting charges. You don't want when they pull up your name at any airport, any point of transit, the thing that they see coming up on the system is that this person was at an airport causing havoc. You don't want that thing on your name, bro. So if you have yes men around you that are telling you, yo, my done, my boss, my God, you know, do this, do this. This this man, this this man is being disrespectful. You know, discipline this man or whatever. I beg you, please, tell them to desist from doing so. And if you're not telling the, your cronies to do so, you must be strong in yourself and understand that you're not going to allow people to press you, you know what I mean, to do things that, you know, may cause you to lose your career, everything which you have worked so hard for. You get me, I say? So do not listen to yes men. Do not allow them to boost you and let you do things that will make you lose your wealth. You know what I mean? You're in a very particular position where you can change your life forever. You can change the lives of your families and your friends forever. You know what I mean? Humility won't kill you. So just be humble. A man disrespect you, you hold it, you board your flight, and you go on a foreign, bro. And you're going to make the money. And you flip the money and you flip it again and you flip it again and you perform again and you go to another country you get your collaborations you know what i mean keep your slate as clean as possible gangsterism is not working right now if you're paying attention to the international scene you see where people like young thug people like gunner people like casanova you know what i mean bobby smurder just came back that is not working the gangster thing is not working 
You know what I mean? They are clamping down on recording artists who are trying to be tough guys. So please desist from doing that. As a young artist, if nobody's telling you that, I want to tell you. You get me? I said, I hope people share it, share this so that they can reach your ears. You know what I mean? Stay away from the negative vibes, bro. You know, focus on your music. Be respectful. And if a man step on your toe, you don't have to shut him a box. You know, you don't have to punch him in the face. You know, just look at the bigger picture. Many before you have made similar mistakes and have never ri ri risen since. You know what I mean? There's another dancehall artist who was in a similar situation with airport officials and he lost his traveling rights and he has never been able to travel since. Do your research and you will know who I'm talking about. You know what I mean? So please be careful how you go about disrespecting people and who you disrespect. You know what I mean? Because you might just be fumbling your own bag. I'm out.